reading for August 2020. So I know I haven't done any videos in a while. I've had a lot going on in my personal life and I always like to give 100% in my readings and yeah, um, I haven't been able to until now. So yeah, I had to take a step back. So anyway, let's get into your reading. So in the past, you've suffered heartbreak, okay? So maybe someone was... Um, in and out of your life they were a bit of a player they were inconsistent and this led to you being hurt okay with the three of swords so yeah I definitely feel as though you have been potentially dealing with someone who's inconsistent who's a player okay and yeah you know you've definitely been dealing with heartache so in the current situation so I feel as though here you're making a final decision as to whether or not to give this person another chance. So we have judgment. So I'm going to clarify judgment. Clarification on judgment. Clarification on judgment. Okay, so here we have the three of cups. So you could be making um, a final like a final decision to reunite with this person. It could be as well that things ended here. And then um, now it's like with judgment, it's kind of bringing the situation back to life. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're kind of um, charming you to get back into your good books. Now, this could be your um, energy. You know, you could be very, very confident and magnetic that kind of thing so you're like attracting this person back but i do feel as though um even if you thought that it was over between you and this person there will be a reunion now it could be as well with um the three of cups being here it could be that you have more than one person to choose from so you're making a final decision on who you're going to choose so that might not resonate with all of you so take what resonates with you but i definitely do see a reunion if it's not happened yet um this isn't the current situation so if it's not happened already it could happen very soon now in the up and coming we have divine guidance so this is the hierophant card in the traditional tarot deck and then we've got the eight of swords so you might okay so there's a number of ways that this can can play out so either you're dealing with someone who is currently trapped in a relationship it could be you that's trapped um in a relationship or one of you wants to commit but you're not quite sure so let's clarify the eight of swords why are you feeling trapped or why is this other person feeling trapped clarification on the eight of swords yeah okay so here we have the four of wands so i feel leo if if you if you're not in um, a third party situation i feel as though you're dealing with someone who possibly is trapped in a relationship they might not want to be in okay so again with the hierophant and the four of wands it is about commitment but then we have the eight of swords so someone's feeling trapped Okay, now the obstacles, the eight of Raphael, so neither of you are um, walking away from one another, okay, and we have the, the tower, so you might have been avoiding each other at this point, um, that kind of thing, but it's like even if you have been ignoring each other or avoiding each other, you still can't walk away from each other, these are the barriers, okay, so in the mutual energy, so you both feel like you're distant from each other, but you both want to speak to one another. You both want to communicate. Okay, so here we have the Ace of Michael or the Ace of Swords. So this is about communication. And then we have the Hermit. So it's like you want to speak to one another, but it's like one of you is being a bit distant. Or it could be that you haven't spoken to one another and then you two start to communicate. So if you're not speaking to this person at the moment, this is the mutual energy. This person wants to speak to you the same way you want to speak to them. Okay, and again, if you haven't reunited with this person, it could happen very soon. Okay, so their feelings in this situation... 
so they feel left out in the cold so i feel like you're the one that's um that's pushing them out i feel like you're you're the one that's leaving them out in the cold but they want another chance they want um a new beginning okay they want you to take a leap of faith with them okay now i suppose it could be that maybe they're not speaking to you but they're willing to eventually take a risk and open up to you again but i'm awful as though it's leo leaving them out in the cold but they want a new chance they want a new beginning with you now how they see the situation so they see that you know you're single you're independent um maybe you're not single but maybe you're like giving off this energy of i can do it on my own i'm strong i'm independent i've got my own thing going on kind of thing and then we have the empress so they their view is that if you and them were to connect it could potentially grow okay um if you're a woman watching this the empress represents a fertile female she's very very attractive so they're very much attracted to you okay and i feel I feel like the more you you kind of give off this um strong independent vibe i feel it's like the more you're going to be attractive to them so your feelings we have the world so you do feel like it's a ending you feel like things have kind of ended you you know you you feel like you're at the end of a circle with this person with the ace of pentacles it could be that you want a new start with this person but you want a stable start and this came up for another sign as well it could also mean that you know in your feelings or you're concentrating on his money it's like you know for now you're done with this person and you're focusing on money but i do feel as though you want a new start so your views on the situation okay so we have the ace of pentacles again the ace of aerial is the same as the ace of pentacles and we have the six of cup so you definitely um feel this reunion coming okay if it's not happened already some of you are willing to um make an effort and have this new start because there's a part of you that does care about this person so the six of cups is about you having a past history with someone it's a card of nostalgia so even if you're not reconnected with this person you might be thinking about the past and be thinking you you know i still kind of care about this person it would be nice to have a new start with them so that's your per um that's your views on it your perspective on it it could be that you're seeing the other person as maybe thinking this about you okay now in your outcome we have the eight of michael so we have the eight of swords again and we have the page of wands so you want to offer this person an opportunity or vice versa this person wants to offer you an opportunity but one of you is tired one of you is trapped okay so let's have a look clarification on the eight of swords the emperor okay i f okay i feel like either you or this person want to take charge of your life but you kind of feel trapped with the emperor it's it's like stability and leadership so you want to um I'm trying to think of the right way to explain it it's like one of you wants to take charge of this situation i feel like not just this whole situation but i feel like Either you want to take charge of your life, but you feel like there's things um, holding you back, things that are tying you down, or this could be how this person is feeling. Maybe they have things in their life that they want to get um, get like a grip on, basically, but they just feel like they're not in control of things. They feel like they're not in control of their lives. There's things tying them down. Clarification on the Eight of Swords. Okay, so two cards came out. So I feel as though this person does want a new start with you. It could be family issues. If if it's not a third party situation, um, it could be, you know, it's just family matters. So the Ten of Cups is like my family card, okay? So if it's not a family um, that they're already involved in, you know, so like if they're not already committed, if they're not already married, I feel like it's family issues that are kind of 
weighing them down that's kind of trapping them okay so i'm not going to say it is for definite um, a third party situation if it's not that it could be they um aren't in control of their lives because they're kind of like under the thumb of their family okay or they could just have um responsibilities when it comes to let's just say if this person has children or um if they have like a ex-spouse or something that they have to pay like money to or something um it could be that that's what's weighing them down okay and if it's not that it could literally be family issues now this person as well could also be a be like a bit of a commitment phobe maybe this person wants wants the benefits of a commitment without actually committing i picked that up as well so let's see i'm gonna pull a guidance card for you leo to see how you should move forward in this situation how should leo move forward in this situation how should leo move forward in this situation the two of Ariel. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. You might have more than one option, okay? They might have more than one option. So there's a need to balance this situation out. Clarification on the two of Ariel. The Queen of Michael, okay. If if they're involved with someone else or if they're playing around you know i feel as though there's a danger here leo i have to be honest that if you go back to this person you could end up back here being hurt by a player okay so if you get the feeling that this person is playing around i feel as though you need to cut them off Take on the Queen of Michael energy, the Queen of Swords energy. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So it's kind of saying, um, look at the experiences you've already had with this particular person. Um, you know, it could be as well that there's new love coming in, in for you, but I'm more full as they were speaking about someone that you're already connected to. They're saying, what have you already experienced with this person? Look at what these experiences have taught you, because I feel like you're going to end up back in back at square one with them. OK, so if this person has been a player in the past, um, this might sound harsh, but I feel like they're still a player now. So just be careful with that. OK. Yeah, so, OK, um, I'm going to do a quick message for leos to see if you have new love coming in because i feel like you need to cut this past person off whether it's temporary whether it's for good that's up to you you know um yeah let's see is there new love coming in for leo in august 2020 is there new love coming in for leo in august 2020 We have the three of pentacles so i feel as though this is about multiple people so you, so you could have multiple options i feel some of them again are tied to the past but i do feel you'll have new options as well okay it's like you're going to attract attention from all different types of people i feel like with the three of pentacles clarification on the three of pentacles okay the Knight of Cups, so you're going to have multiple offers. You're going to have multiple offers, okay? So do what is right for you. Um, if you have been hurt by someone in the past, I would maybe look at new options. And you definitely have them coming in and possibly more than one option, okay? So, yeah, I feel like um, all is well. Just, you know, it's kind of like the saying, fool me once, shame on me. Um, shame on you sorry fool me twice shame on me yeah don't let this person um fool you again with their old tricks i feel like you know they were a player in the past and yeah i feel like they're still up to their old tricks so yeah i would say focus on something new for now so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading 
Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you would like a private reading with me, all the information you need is in the description link.